My name is Moeen Khoury. I'm the uh, director of the CDC Office of Public Health Genomics and also the acting director for the Epidemiology and Genetics Research Program at the NCI. What I do is uh, travel back and forth between Atlanta and uh, Washington DC every week to get these two full-time jobs that are essentially building bridges between CDC and NIH and that's a very exciting prospect for me. When I went to school the, the field of genetic epidemiology wasn't even being built. So I was one of the early innovators in the field of genetic epidemiology. And now genetic epidemiology is sort of a, almost a household name. Everyone doing genetics is into genetic epidemiology. But there was this feeling at, uh, early on in my career that I could do more than just helping uh, patients one at a time or just families one at a time. I could have a population perspective. Uh, I like numbers. I like, you know, sort of the, the idea of uh, looking at populations, um, uh, not one person at a time, like what you do in, in medicine, but as what public health does. So, and I was very intrigued by why some people get sick and others don't. I, I think the uh, new stuff with the development of technologies and, and genomics and those new tools for finding out who's at risk for different diseases could actually be used in practice to help people <clears throat> to prevent disease. Um, and I, I think the next maybe 5, 10, 15 years would see the kind of studies that we need to look at the effectiveness, the, um, the utility of these tools from a real world perspective in terms of practice. Because if, if those tools cannot be used to improve health, then I, I think they will fall by the wayside. And my, my hope and dream is that this will not happen, but they will be proven to have added value in both healthcare and public health.